Since 5 o'clock, the foreperson of the jury that issued a record verdict against Floyd Medical Center is speaking only to Channel 2 Action News. Channel 2's consumer investigator Jim Strickland says the hospital is ordered to pay $8.5 million to one of its own employees. A Floyd Medical Center pickup truck ran through a stop sign and into the path of a motorcycle driven by a hospital employee. Two years later, a jury is metering out its brand of justice. You know, everybody really felt for him for the injury he sustained. Jury four person Mark Weed agreed to speak about an $8.5 million verdict for crash victim Cleve Corley. When the defense lawyers stated what they were wanting, it was a ridiculously low sum that wouldn't have even come near to, to covering, um, you know, really anything. Even though I am minus league, you know, I, I try to get up every day and go to work. I wanted them to know that I'm not, you know, looking for a handout. Corley was headed home from his IT job at Floyd Medical when a hospital pickup truck pulled into his motorcycle's path. The crash cost Corley his leg. He says the award is not worthy of envy. You wouldn't want it. You'd give it every bit back. Get that leg back. Corley's attorney says the money will pay medical expenses piling up and future expenses. His $140,000 prosthetic, not covered by insurance, needs replacement every three to five years. Weed had no idea the verdict was a county record until I told him. A tearful Cleve Corley had a message for the jury too. You know, I'm just, I'm just thankful that that I had 12 people that saw what I needed for me to take care of me and my family. Thank you. Thank you very much.